Hey Lugnuts, welcome to Lug Unplugged. It's me, Meredith. I'm sorry I haven't been around lately. Uh, back in September, I got COVID and I ended up in the emergency room a little bit. So very sick, feeling much better though. Thank you um, for well wishes while I was sick. Um, but hopefully back, doing much better, able to get you some new lug, uh, lug content about what we've got going on. And that's exactly what I have for you today. This is the sleeper. New by Lug, it's like their brush holder, different than the canoe. And maybe I'll do a review video for you that's the canoe versus the sleeper so you have a chance to see those side by side in case you want the older version. Um, this is also in a new print. This is Wildflower Black. I know I said Wildflower Multi is my favorite. Uh, it might have to take a step aside because I love this. It has that yellows, the blues, like a navy with a pretty teal and a fuchsia and a blush and even like an orangey red um, color there too. So beautiful, beautiful print. I actually bought these with my daughter in mind, my daughters. I bought one in the Wildflower Multi because, or Wildflower Black because I love it and I bought the other one in Rainbow Navy thinking these would be great art supplies for like on the go, if you're at a restaurant, a great way to hold colored pencils or crayons or whatnot. So. It opens like this. It's made for brushes. It's got three compartments, three little pockets here, cargo pockets. They each have some, like, um, its own space here. They all have a pleat that keeps it separate. And then there's two over here. So it will hold pretty wide brush handles. The real genius here is this part. So it has a strap here. And on the back side, it has a little, like, clipper. So once it's open flat, you can pull the clipper and it folds like that. So anything inside will be standing up and you just pull it tight and it stands on its own. And you can pull it, I mean, it will open entirely flat if you wanted, um, but just like the triangle makes it so that it sits nicely on a tabletop. In fact, my iPad's on a table so I can stick this right in front of it and it sits very evenly, very nicely, hard for you to see. Okay, just like this. <laughs> and this is maybe not even that helpful for you. Anyway, so super easy. And then you just grab and pull and it shuts again. Uh, it has a zipper closure all the way around. The tricky thing about it is to get it to open that way, you really have to have this open entirely. If it's open just part of the way and you try pulling, that string, it will not pull. I'm pulling quite hard. So you have to have it, it's open like that. And when I pull, nothing happens. It has to be pretty flat. And then when you pull, it very easily does that. So uh, it's not a one-handed open. It's definitely a two-handed open. But I think it's really cute. I like the idea of tossing a little memo pad in here for my girls with some pens even. And then they can carry it into a restaurant like this. It's like their own little clutch. Because look at how cute that is. Isn't that great? So I'm really looking forward to getting a chance to use it with my kids. Did you get a sleeper? What are you, are you using it for? I know some people are using it for knitting needles or crochet hooks, um, art supplies. I mean, it's intended for makeup brushes, so you can use it for makeup brushes too. Comment down below what you're going to use a sleeper for uh, and if you like it better than the canoe. Uh, if you like my videos, please click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.